Welcome back. Joyce Grant is here from Tatum Music Company this morning. So your child might have asked for a new instrument for Christmas and today we're getting some advice about taking that next step. Thank you so much for being here today, Joyce. You're welcome. So let's say a child's been playing for maybe two years, the same instrument, and they're saying, Mom, Dad, I want something next. How do you know that it's the right time? That's a great question. Um, I usually tell people the most important person to talk to is their music educator, their teacher, their band director in this case. And they'll always know if it's time to move up, if, how well they're doing, if they've been practicing. And then obviously, if you come into our store, we have people that most of us have music degrees, we'll be glad to help. But start with your music teacher, your band director. Sounds good. So when you're looking at this next instrument, maybe yes, it is time to move on. How do you know you're picking a good one? Well, I always tell people just because it's shiny and it's <laughs> new doesn't mean it's a good one. I, uh, we carry all the major brands and the ones I have in front of me today are uh, made by the Yamaha Corporation, which is known for real quality instruments. So the brands are really important. And uh, the reason those uh, brands are important because one, it'll be made sturdy. Even the beginner band instruments are sturdy now, but the pro ones are made even, uh, they're sturdy just like the beginner ones, but the tone quality is what a musician is known for. A singer, a violinist, a trumpet player like myself, uh, the, the tone is what's most important. So it's gonna have a good tone. Uh, is it constructed where you can get parts for it? A uh, quality instrument, you can always get parts and we have these large repair facilities that we repair these instruments. If you can't get parts, you can't repair them. It's just like an automobile. So that's important. And then uh, the intonation, how it tunes with other instruments is extremely important. And you can't tell by looking at a shiny new instrument that that's what it is. Uh, so again, these name brands, these major companies make high quality instruments that play in tune and that you can get parts for. So talking about these shiny instruments in front of us, tell me what we've got here today. Well, that this one is a, uh, a Yamaha a Pro instrument, and I, matter of fact, most of what I brought was a professional line, some intermediates, but this one is a Yamaha CVS clarinet, which um, actually this particular one was tested out by the uh, uh, clarinet professor at uh, SFA, uh, Dr. Oh. Ayers. Uh, this is a Zeno trumpet, and since I'm a trumpet player, I'm kind of partial to trumpet. <laughs> and uh, it's a Zeno trumpet uh, that uh, is a professional level. And then this is an intermediate model flute. It's a, a 481 model Yamaha. Like I said, all these are Yamaha. And uh, it's got a, a lot of these better instruments have extra keys. For example, this flute has an, another note on it. It's a low B has a little gizmo key to help. Uh, all instruments have some little tuning problems. I don't care if you spend a million dollars or you spent you know, $500, they have some little inconsistencies. And there's a little finger uh, key on here that helps make that bad note. Flute players know it's a C and a C sharp, but uh, that'll make it uh, flatten the note slightly and help it be better. So the better instruments have actually even extra notes or uh, add on keys that help the instrument play better. Yeah, if um, people are getting a new instrument, what should they do with their old one? That's a great question. I get that question almost every other day in the store. In East Texas, since we have all these great football teams, the marching band's important. And uh, I tell people, my first thought is to keep it and use it in the marching band. It takes pretty rough abuse during marching season, getting in the stands, getting mm -hmm. out of the school bus. So I always tell people that's the best way. Now, from time to time, if somebody wants to trade it in, we, we will do some trade-ins if, if, uh, if the instrument is still in good shape and we can resell it and still have a quality instrument to sell. But in most cases, use it for marching season. Sounds good. Joyce, if people want to find more information or your store, where can they find you? Well, we're in Longview and Tyler. Uh, in Tyler, we're at 525 East Front. Um, been there for many, many years. Company's been in business 71 years, and our Longview location is 301 North High Street, uh, both downtown. Uh, so we'll, we've been there for a long time, plan to be there many, many more years. All right, be sure to check them out.